Hello and welcome to part two of my pin collection favorites. Um, I have six pins here I'm going to be talking about today, so let's get started. First one here is Rightfully Proud. Um, my aunt gave this to me after she had attended the Boston Lesbian and Gay Pride in 1988. You can tell by the colors it is very 80s. Um, she was actually cleaning out her closet because she was going to have a garage sale because she was looking to sell some things after she um, lost her job. So she came across this and sent it to me along with a bunch of other, um, you know, pride pins, AIDS walk pins. Um, she's a hiker, so some hiking pins too. Lots of cool stuff and a little note too. I think I kept that. But yeah, I wear this one on my backpack, and it's one of my favorites. What can I say? If you're LGBTQ, you have no reason not to be proud. Go for it. <laughs> um, here's my second one. It is a Nicole Dollinganger pin in the shape of a Ouija... What would you call that? Just the piece. Um, she is a musician from Canada. The only way I can kind of describe her music, her voice is that um, of if you were to be at sea and a mermaid was luring you off course with her siren song, um, it would be uh, Nicole Dollinganger. <laughs> so she's very talented, nicest, one of the nicest musicians I've ever had the pleasure of speaking to. Um, listen to her music, support her, she is amazing. I wear that one on my jean jacket. Okay, here is my incense pin. Um, this is my favorite kind of incense to burn, and I, I follow some of the, the pin Instagram pages, and they had put this one up, and I said, no, screw it. I could, I could use that. So yeah, I'm not sure where I want to put this one yet. Maybe on a hat? But I have a couple of hats. It's like, which one? I don't know. I think it's kind of cool though. It only costs... With shipping, I think it might have been like eight bucks. I don't remember. Or maybe it was eight then shipping. I'm not sure. Okay. We have Make It Mac Tonight. Which is... I fucking love this pen. Okay. Um, I think it's from the 80s or the 90s. But I got it at Early Owego Antique Center. I was surprised nobody had bought it. I went there on a Saturday afternoon and nobody had bought it. And I'm just like, y'all are missing out. How could you not want that? So I said, no, screw it. I'll take it for my collection. And it's one of my favorites. A lot of people seem to enjoy this one too. I bring back some good, good memories or something. Here is one that actually um, belongs to my dad, but he doesn't know that I've taken it. It's been a long time. I don't think he's noticed or ever going to notice. It is a Gumby. He, he appears to be uh, playing baseball. Um, the reason I have learned to um, treasure this one so much, I recently watched a documentary. It's called um, Dharma Gumby or Gumby Dharma. And it talks about um, how Gumby came to be through creator um, Art Clokey. And he he had a he got a divorce and he ended up hanging out with the hippies. He met Frank Zappa, all this cool stuff. And um, yeah, he made a claymation film after getting into psychedelics called Mandala. And while that film was in production, um, his daughter passed away. And so while the, while the film starts off kind of, you know, colorful, a little bit eerie, as it advances, it, get, it definitely gets darker. But I just, I didn't know there was so much behind Gumby, you know. That was a really interesting documentary, I recommend that. Plus I've always liked Gumby anyway. But... And I saved the best one for last. Hopefully I don't drop it because it is on the heavier side. Like, look how thick it is. Hold on. 
And yes, I did cut my thumb earlier. <laughs> Yesterday, I had to go get a booster shot. <laughs> Not even kidding. Okay. Let's see, it's on the thicker side. This one is the Rift Palace of Ice, and I got number... It says on the back, is a paradise. That's a line on the song. And the artist is at the top, Matthew Capron or Capron. I got number 49 out of 75. Um, I don't know how to go about explaining this. I have a lot of ween pins, but this one is my favorite. Um, there's a line in the, they have a song called The Rift, and there's a line in the song that says, We may never come back from the Palace of Ice because the Rift is a door. Um, the Palace of Ice is represented in the color scheme here. Just, you know, and the sparkles too, it's meant to symbolize like the ice or whatever. Um, the rift, the rift is this in the middle, the rift is a door, because if you look closely, it is glitter, it's like glitter underneath, and the door is over here, and it goes out, and it's cool, he like left it hollow, then filled it with the glitter, and then filled it on top so all of it's smooth. Um, you see they have Ween's name in the corner. The pin itself is in the shape of a bookish, which is Ween's, Ween's god, Ween's higher power, came to them twice in a vision. Um, and we have the bookish at the bottom here too, helping this individual through into the rift. So I paid a good deal of money for this, and I almost didn't because I didn't want to spend it. But now that I have, I really, really enjoy it. I put this one on my jacket, you know, I wear it all over, it's my favorite. So yeah, hope you enjoyed my video. You don't have to comment, like, or subscribe, I could give a damn. So yeah, have a good day people, good night, and have a pleasant tomorrow.